Hello there and welcome to part two of my series about making a wooden cyclone for my workshop dust extractor. Now if you missed part one there is a link in the description below but in this video I want to show you how I finished off the dust extractor, sealed it all up and then I attempted to test it. So let's see how I got on. I start by sealing all the joints with hot melt glue. The thought of taking the whole thing apart and gluing it didn't appeal to me and the hot glue forms a better seal, although not quite so aesthetically pleasing on the outside. I use gaffer tape to improve the seal between the cyclone and the collector units. Next I make a bracket to attach the unit to the side of my vacuum cabinet. I start by fixing two strips of 12mm ply vertically along the back edge of the sides of the collector. For the bracket I use an offcut of an old cupboard and cut it so that it stands a little proud of the 12mm ply strips. Finally I cut another two strips of ply 33mm wide. These brackets will allow me to slide the collector box onto and off of the vacuum cabinet easily. Now this is painful for me to watch, but a great reminder of the old adage, measure, measure and measure again. Something I still really haven't grasped. When all else fails, forget measuring, just offer up the piece and screw it in. With the unit sealed and the bracket in place, I decide to give it a coat of paint. And I found some old matte black stove paint. Looks good. This project's all about experimenting and having looked online at other Cyclones, I realise that one of the problems with this is because this is open, the, the, the airflow is then disturbing all the dust that's in the bottom of the container and that's getting sucked back up into the, uh, into the vacuum. So what I need to do is to put a funnel in here um, and this, this plant pot seems to be about the right size. What I'm going to do is try and cut the bottom off this and then somehow close up the, the hole at the bottom so there's a smaller hole at the bottom of this funnel so there's not so much air disturbance at the bottom end of this that's the theory anyway you never know when a plant pot will come in handy this isn't very scientific but if it works that's all that's important Okay, so I've got 200 grams of uh, mixed dust in there. This is empty. I'll put this back and we'll hoover that out. Yes, Dave had a piece of paper in the bottom of the plant <laughs> pot and got dragged off by the suction. See what we got. Looks like it's about a hundred, just over a hundred and fifty. 
which is slightly better than the first time I tried it. So the majority of the dust is going into the into the collector here. The rest is going into the vacuum. I don't know. That's a pretty reasonable. I've been using my wooden cyclone for about two or three weeks now and uh, I have to say I've learnt a lot. I've also done a bit more research on the internet and one of the things I discovered that uh, my one of my aims of filtering out small particles was never going to be achieved with such a large diameter cyclone as this. You need a much smaller cylinder. That said, it is filtering out quite a few of the particles and a bit of material and it certainly helps me in that I only have to empty this rather than trying to empty the main vacuum chamber. Um, what I Adding this flower pot to it as sort of to make a cone has helped reduce the amount of turbulence that I was getting in the bottom of this which was stirring up the fine particles and sucking them into the vacuum and also in the last few days I've actually lined it with some cardboard I hope you can see that just it's just a, a sheet of cardboard which I've gaffer taped in which just gives a smooth cylinder um, and that seems to improve it so all in all it's not perfect but it, it's doing the job that I wanted and it was great fun making it I hope you've enjoyed this video if you like this sort of content please hit subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon thanks very much